Thanks for coming today. So, we, uh, we have something really exciting for you today. Now, Apple's been doing a lot of great stuff lately. Uh, we shipped Mac 10.1 last month, an incredibly stunning upgrade to Mac OS 10, and we're getting rave reviews for it from a lot of you folks in this room. Uh, we updated our whole portable line last week, our power books and our iBooks, a lot of things going on. Uh, and we, uh, we lured you here today uh, with the promise of unveiling a breakthrough digital device uh, that's not a Mac. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's uh, start with the digital hub. This is a strategy that we announced uh, in January of this year, about nine months ago. And that strategy is that we believe the Mac can become the center of your digital lifestyle. In other words, we're being, uh, we're being surrounded by these amazing digital devices these days. Digital cameras, digital camcorders, DVD players. And we think that with the appropriate application software, the Mac can add tremendous value to these devices and become an essential part of your life where you can't get along without it. And that's our digital hub strategy in a nutshell. Now, the most important of these devices are, of course, the digital camera, the digital camcorder, the DVD player, and portable digital music players. So how have we done? Well, we entered the year with an incredible app called iMovie 2. iMovie 2 is so far ahead of anything else for consumer video editing. Uh, we have millions and millions of people out there making movies on their Macs, and it is so easy to use, you don't even have to read a manual. We are way ahead of everybody else on this, and Apple's now the largest uh, video editing supplier in the world, both at the pro and the consumer level. We then followed it up in January with iTunes. iTunes has been an incredible hit for us. The easiest to use, most powerful digital music jukebox player on any platform. Next, we introduced our Super Drive and some of our Power Mac configurations, and we rolled out iDVD, and we have now announced iDVD2, which will be shipping uh, early November. It's unbelievable. You can make your own DVDs that play in every consumer DVD player, which there are now over 20 million of uh, in the United States alone. And it's unbelievable. And again, we are very far ahead of everybody else in this area. And lastly, in photography, uh, digital photography, we have built right into Mac OS X an application called Image Capture, which is amazing. You plug your camera right in, and boom, your pictures are automatically imported, and you can do a bunch of stuff with them. Now, a lot of people can draw charts like this on the blackboard, but we are delivering. We have all four of these things covered. And what I'd love to do is just show them to you right now, real quickly. So those are the four apps I wanted to show you. And uh, we are executing on all this stuff today. Nine months from announcing the strategy to having this stuff uh, basically shipping. IDVD2 will ship early uh, next month. Now, as we've been designing these apps, of course, we've been paying a lot of attention to the devices. We wanted to work with all the coolest devices, and we have to learn everything about these devices to make our iApps work. So the iApps know all about the devices. But a thought occurred to us late last year that the devices don't know anything about the iApps. There's never been a device that's been built that can take advantage of all this amazing intelligence built into these apps running on a Mac. What if there was? What if somebody built a device that could take advantage of knowing all about those iApps and get a level of integration that no one's ever achieved before? And we decided to do it. And the, the, the field that we decided to do it in, the choice we made, was music. Now, why music? Well, we love music. And it's always good to do something you love. More importantly, music's a part of everyone's life. Everyone. Music's been around forever. It will always be around. This is not a speculative market. And because it's a part of everyone's life, it's a very large target market all around the world. It knows no boundaries. But interestingly enough, in this whole new digital music revolution, there is no market leader. There are small companies like Creative and Sonic Blue, and then there's some large companies like Sony that haven't had a hit yet. They haven't found the recipe. No one has really found the recipe yet. 
for digital music. And we think not only can we find the recipe, but we think the Apple brand is going to be fantastic because people trust the Apple brand to get their great digital electronics from. So let's look at portable music. Let's look at the landscape. The first thing, if you want to listen to music portably, you can go out and buy a CD, uh, CD player. Right? That's one way to go, about 15, 10 to 15 songs. Or you can buy a flash player. Go out and buy one of those. You can buy a MP3 CD player, or you can buy a hard disk-based jukebox player. These are the four choices for portable music right now. So let's take a look at each one of those. A CD player costs about $75, holds 10 to 15 songs on a CD. That's about $5 a song. You can go buy a flash player, pay about double that, about $150, holds the same 10 to 15 songs, or about $10 a song. You can go buy an MP3 CD player, and an MP3 CD, uh, which you can burn on your computer, costs about $150, but holds 150 songs. So you get down to a dollar a song. Or you can go buy a hard drive jukebox player for about $300. It holds about 1,000 songs and costs about 30 cents a song. So we looked at this and studied all these, and that's where we want to be. That is where we want to be. And we are introducing a product today that takes us exactly there, and that product is called iPod. iMac, iBook, iPod. What is iPod? iPod is an MP3 music player, has CD quality music, and it plays all of the popular open formats of digital music, MP3, MP3 variable bitrate, uh, WAV, and AIFF. But the biggest thing about iPod is it holds a 1,000 songs. Now, this is a quantum leap because it's your, for most people, it's their entire music library. This is huge. How many times have you gone on the road with a CD player and said, oh, God, the CD, I didn't bring the CD I wanted to listen to? To have your whole music library with you at all times is a quantum leap in listening to music. But the coolest thing about iPod is that whole, your entire music library fits in your pocket. Okay? You can take your whole music library with you right in your pocket. Never before possible. So that's iPod. There are three major breakthroughs in iPod. Let's take a look at each one of them. The first one is it's ultra portable. So if we're going to keep a thousand songs on iPod and it fits in your pocket, how, how do we do this? How do we possibly do this? Well, we start off with an ultra thin hard drive. We've got a 1.8 inch diameter hard drive that's 0 0.2 inches thick super thin, and that hard drive is five gigabytes in capacity. Five gigabytes, which holds a thousand songs at a 160 kilobit rate, which is a very high quality rate of MP3 compression. Very high quality. A thousand songs on this five gigabyte drive. And we've built in 20 minute skip protection. That's not, tw that's not 20 seconds, 20 minute skip protection. So you can take iPod bicycling, mountain climbing, jogging, you name it, and you're not going to skip a beat. So we've got this five gigabyte drive that holds a thousand songs. How do we get the thousand songs on to iPod? We don't want to wait. So we've built in FireWire. Now Apple, as you know, invented FireWire. We should FireWire on every computer we make. It's built into iPod. It's the first and only music player with FireWire. Why? because it's fast. You can download an entire CD into iPod in five to 10 seconds, an entire CD. So let's take a look at how it compares with USB. Five to 10 seconds for FireWire to load a CD. On a USB player, you're talking five minutes. Let's talk about 1,000 songs now. On iPod with FireWire, it is under 10 minutes. On a USB player, it is five hours. Can you imagine that? You get your USB player, you want to load a thousand songs, you get to watch it for five hours while it loads the songs. Under 10 minutes with iPod. It's 30 times faster than any other MP3 player. So, huge win. 